Hey there, A Bird Freedom Fam. So today we're gonna do something a little bit different. Uh, we're gonna drink some coffee, and we're gonna know some things. So yeah, drinking coffee and knowing things. So in the late 1870s, a little bit of a uh, shot shell, shotgun ammunition information. The late 1870s, in an effort to reduce cost from brass shells, they went to paper. So about the, eight, the late 1870s, I don't know exactly what year, in an effort to reduce cost, they went to paper shells. But in the 1960s is when things really changed. Mm. But how did they change? Well, Ronald Comerford uh, went ahead and designed the plastic wad. The plastic wad. And uh, evidently, story goes, he designed the all one piece plastic wad in about 15 minutes. And then uh, that was 1958. 1958, well, what happened in the 60s? Well, in 1960, Remington produced the first plastic shell. Now, there's a lot of controversy here because between 1960 and 1964, Winchester, as well as Remington, both got into plastic shell productions along with one-piece plastic wads. Um, there's, there's a little bit of controversy in there, but funny fact, that patent didn't sell for much that old Ronald came up with. As a matter of fact, uh, let's see, he went to the Western Technical School or West Tech and uh, design that wad. So 15 minutes to revolutionize the shotgun industry. Some people know this, some people don't know this, but it's never a bad thing to have a little bit of trivia. So today, we're drinking coffee, good old Just Black, and we're uh, knowing things. So maybe you knew, maybe you don't, but now you do. That's all I got, everybody. Stay safe.